I just was coming into this section here and just cleaning this up because what I want to do is grab this section here and I want to move this back. I want to flatten it out. I've just been analyzing the image, the images on the actual show, freeze framing on different shots. And I think I'm going to be able to do this. Let's see if I can select this. Sorry about that. That was dumb, wasn't it? It's like someone talking about modeling but not actually showing it to you. How boring. So I'm just wondering now, let's see, ME, just get rid of that little point there. What I want to do is bring this back in line with this. <laughs> All right. So I'll go control, click on points, um, E for the move tool. Just hold down L, select that point. If you've watched enough of my streams now, you'll know that I do this a lot. Um, point snapping. And I'll just, it should come and snap onto that one. That's it. Yeah. So that's made that a little flatter there. Just going to undo that again. Just want to see. Come on, why? Bring that back. What I really want to do is have it connected to here like that. That's what I really want. But that's going to bring that back there. So what I might have to do, I don't think it's actually straight. I think it might need to be rotated. Beats me how I got to that point, but I do prefer it flat like that. That's how it actually looks on the actual helmet. So this is just a sort of base that the detail sits on top of. But it is flaring out at the bottom a little bit. So, just have to work out how I want to straighten that up. Now it's probably very early where some of you are. But I just take about an hour, an hour and a half, just to move this along a little bit. And let's go three. It's going to take a little bit of fiddling. If I was to disconnect that, let's see, just by using the disconnect command. And put my rotation axis at the top. It's not going to do it. OK, 
Okay, that flattens it out. So if I do that, that will flatten it. I don't know if it's going to be possible what I want to do. Because I can't flatten it out. Because the when we first started making the helmet, we flared it out slightly. So it's going to be a little bit of compromise. So I'm just exploring at the moment, just deciding whether I even want to do this. I do like having that flat there though. I could just weld that edge, just pull it in a little bit. I don't really like how that's flared out at the back. I spent a few hours on this. I've I've done a few live streams. Um, yeah, more than a few hours, but um, just want to get it looking as nice as possible. Grab my reference. You see on this um, this model, see it actually sticks out quite far. On the actual, let's see, on the actual one, the base is really, really quite slim. A little wider at the top. I just wanted to spend too much time on this because I want to get this done. Undo that for a bit.
it'll be okay. I'm going to do that. It's going to save a version of this. Uh, save incremental. And I'm going to stitch these together. Or weld these together. MQ. M Q oops what happened there? Ah activated my subdivision surface. There's a few edges to reconcile here. That's nice so that comes around there like that. I like how that comes across and just straight around. I might pull these ones down M E and then just oops if I can. I've got the snapping turned on. Just snap those in using my poly pen. Still got snapping turned on. Poly pen doesn't like snapping. Polygon pen. We'll leave that one there. Now obviously this is going to be rounded out, but I'll put a control cut in there. Wouldn't expect too many people to be watching this time of the morning if you're in Europe or in the US. Just leave those in there for now. Looks pretty neat. So we've got that control loop across there, this one here. Just get rid of this one for now. MN. That's good. Okay, so let's have a look at how we can tighten all this up. I'll just bring these across. Let's see. That guy needs to come across. Edge snap. Just snap that into there. good. So let's see how we can get these cut in. Just 
that one's not actually sitting on this. Get that sitting on there. That still doesn't want to do it. Okay. There we go. That probably should work out. Look, see how that's made a quad there? But we've got a bit of stuff going on there. Um, as usual, I'll just put a few cuts in and see if the solution presents itself. Obviously, you don't want a massive pole there. Um, what I'll do, let's see. Grab this edge. We do want it a little sharper there. Trying to slide it in, but it's not working. Let's try it again. No, nope, slide tool doesn't like that. So, fill that up. Get rid of this bottom one for now. Let's pull that in. Slide tool didn't want to do it, so we have to do it the hard way. Hey, you're back. Did you actually get any sleep, Triumph? I had a bit of a sleep on the couch. Did some washing, watched a bit of The Mandalorian, and then just really wanted to keep modeling. It's nice to have the energy to, to want to do it. Yeah, it's, um, geez, it's uh, 4.42 in the afternoon here. So I just move that away with that edge. Just going to see if I can get these guys simplified. Good old diamonds there. So that's more than acceptable doing that. That's not quite joined up, so what I like to do is just select the areas like that and just use the optimize tool. There we go, you can see that's already done that. There's still something going on there though. Something's not quite connected. It's probably these two. MQ and these two, and Q. Okay. Something's not connected up here. I 
And if I really want to see it, I'll just turn on um, mesh checking. Mesh checking is actually one of the modes under modeling. You can see I've just made it a panel, so it's it's just there all the time. You see, it's showing me that I've got a um, uh, a boundary edge, the green one, and a pole, a complex pole here. Get rid of all of the non, the bad polygons. I'll turn that off. I'll try to turn it off. Getting a little bit of weirdness going on with some of this. Let's try selecting that and optimizing again. Now that fixed it, I think. Okay. Now I do have that one there. Slept from 4 p.m. till midnight. Oh God, I would be young again. Okay, so if I if I terminate that one there, it leaves me a triangle, which is you know you could you could be happy with that. Um, I'm never particularly happy with triangles. I could put a cut in here. I don't want proportional though. I want edge distance. Like that. It's going to take that all the way through. But of course, what I want to do is just do this. Like that. Double click. M N dissolve. And that's actually looking pretty good. I really like um, resolving these kind of things, working out how to get the topology right, trying to keep it all quads wherever possible. It's one of those, you know, things about modeling that's really fun. So I think I'm actually pretty much ready to start that next piece now. I probably want to bring a, a loop through here. Like this. Oops, not like that. Um, they'll probably come through here. That would tighten up that, like that. And obviously that would have to be taken back through here. No loose ends. Grab these ones. MO for the slide tool, control key. And that's all that's doing is actually just um, toggling clone. KK, okay, okay, just close, get rid of that end gone there. All looking pretty good. I want to get rid of that. And that's a bug. See how when I control click with the polygon pen and it removes that point? That's been fixed now in 23. Um, one way to get rid of it is just to go into mesh checking. And see that blue blue one? I can just go select because that's an edge point and delete. And turn off mesh checking because I want everything pink. So that's really nice to nicely sort of cleaned up there. Tension's not quite right. Let's slide that up. 
but that looks pretty good. If I go to there, yeah, that looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Now I'm ready to, you know, build the rest of the that other piece on top. I like that this is not sticking out anymore. I like that it's flush. I think it looks better when it's flush. It's nice and flat. So I can go ahead and start building the other thing. So um, I'm going to just use this model as an example, as my guide. Let's turn off the visor. And maybe even turn off the turn off the helmet. And think about how to do this. Um, I've been giving it a little bit of thought. Let's grab the reference images again. Hard surface modeling, yeah, love it. But I am going to do the um, I'm going to do the bust, so I am going to do the. Uh, this is where I need to practice. I'm going to do the cape, you know, do all this stuff. So I was thinking I'd probably uh, block out the shoulders and the neck, um, just so I get the right proportions, and then I will work out how to do this, and then do the um, the chest plate, the shoulder, uh, armor and the bandolier just enough who knows maybe i'll go all the way down but i think i can get some really nice framed you know hero shots if i've got the rest of the um the neck and the shoulders that's a great shot i like the like seeing the helmet at the angle as well i think those sort of shots look really great One of the best looking Star Wars characters. I remember seeing Boba Fett the first time in the 70s when I saw Star Wars Return of the Jedi. I always thought he was such an interesting looking character. Mysterious. Let's have a look at this again. Um, just want to look at the side. Yep, this is probably a good one. So I'd probably use a disc. Um, it kind of flares out. It shouldn't be too complicated, but I think um, I think this little U shape here is actually connected to this piece down here. So I'll have to model that in and do control cuts to sharpen that all up. It won't just intersect straight into it. That would be lazy. On some shots, it even almost looks like it's flush, but there's a little shadow there. So I'll just give it a go. See how far I get. <laughs> just going to set up a maybe that one's good so I can see it on the other screen oops Right. I don't know. I'll, I'll give it a go. And if I do it and it doesn't work, then I will have worked out how to do it. So let's see. I'm going to do this piece first. This piece will be next. And that's all one piece, I think. So basically two pieces. All right. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Just wondering, um, rather than doing it in here, um, I suppose I can. I was, sometimes I like to do things in a fresh project, keep things at world zero, but this should be okay. Now I want to have enough 
segments, rotation segments, to hold any sharpening that I'm going to put in without wrecking the, um, uh, the curvature. But I don't want to have so many that um, it makes it unwieldy. So that's actually not bad. Give that a try. 21's not very even though. Maybe 22. Twenty. Grab that and stick it in working. Uh, let's see. Drop that into a subdivision surface. Could be a little larger. And this is one of the limitations of Blender I've found so far is when you make it something like a disc like this, as soon as you move it, you lose the parametric properties. That's something that's look they're looking into apparently. But this is why I would want to be able to do this because I want to have my object parametric. I want to position it. I want to adjust the settings parametrically. And then I want to make it editable. Okay, so let's make that editable. Uh, Bring that down. That's actually a little big, isn't it? It needs to come to there. So I'm going to undo that. Sixty. Okay, that'll do. Um, I'll just get rid of the other one. I like to keep my discs and my base parametric objects backed up. Uh, let's get rid of this. Yeah, I don't, but I don't, I, I don't mind using this. I don't need, I don't necessarily need all quads just at the moment. It's because you know why? Because I want to be able to put loop cuts through here. Um, I want to try. Why is that doing that? Ah, let me just grab this. You know, I want to be able to slide this like this, see, and make various cuts like that, and then I'll then I'll just put a few quads in there. It's pretty straightforward. I don't have to I don't have to start with a quad cylinder. But yeah, I see I see what you're saying, but I don't I don't necessarily have to have that. There's more than one way to skin a cat, right? I'm getting a few little bugs going on here. Let's see. Um, all right, so let's try that. Uh, so now it's cut. Now it's cutting. Okay. So I'll put one in uh, there.
this piece on here does actually stick out a little bit. Obviously I'll be able to just put a loop in here. Actually I might just do that first because that's actually changing that. Stick one in here, stick one in here. And order of operations is obviously very important. Sometimes you get it right first go. I'm going to put this into a symmetry. Did that work? Getting a few sort of weird things going on in cinema at the moment. No idea why that's not working. Finally, okay. There you go. Checking my reference image. Create a guide there. I'm going to snap to guides. There we go. Just bring this one down. If I want to line that up with that one, I'll just turn off guide snapping, turn on point snapping, right click, snap it to there, pull out the handle and just try it again. My mouse played up then. Right click, snap and just line that up like that. Okay. what we want.
leave those for the moment. This piece can actually probably be a separate piece. And it could be split off. I'll, I'll probably make it all one, but I'm not limited to that. Triangles. I'm not even worried about those triangles at the moment. I'm not even thinking about those triangles. I'll look at those later. Don't know. Don't need to resolve triangles like every as soon as you see one. It's not. That's not the point. I know that I'm going to do this little section later. I did think about you know doing that. Um, and there's obviously that one that leaves one in there. But I could always bring another one down there, bring it across, and they're they're now quads. But I don't need to do that right now. Just leave that for now. Okay, so one thing I need to look at when I obviously when I created this this um, disc, you know, see this edge doesn't line up with this piece here. So there's not really enough geometry in there, and if I obviously go and add a cut in there it's going to ruin my curvature but what I can do is just ignore those for now ignore those insets keep working and then I can subdivide this to a, a level of one and that'll give me enough edges to add in that detail <laughs> wash his hands wash his hands yeah that's right you've got to be able to put it down you've got to be able to move on because I don't resolve things like that, triangles and n-gons necessarily straight away, because they can often work themselves out later on. Okay, so let's see here. I'm gonna, it's got to be pulled back. I might just bring this out. D. in there and let's add some thickness to this bring our helmet back in of course I've made it right in the middle of the helmet because that's where the disc was created so first of all I'll just bring this out it's obviously way too thick Um, and actually, I don't remember giving that thickness. Get rid of that. I want to be on this side. I'm going to actually take it to the other side. Over here. Hmm, um, let's see. Just thinking of the fastest way to do this
Um, what I'll do is not that. What I'll do is I'll just grab these and this. Just split that off. We want that one. Now, when I extruded that, I extruded it back. I didn't want to extrude it back. Well, I did actually, but not. Hold down shift. Once more. Hold down shift. Probably about to there. Like that. And there is a slight angle to the helmet. I'm going to have to angle this out a little bit. Good. Now I want to bring this other one forward. So I'm actually, for a moment, I'm going to take these out and bring this one forward. Like that. I'm just looking at the angle. Yeah, it's going to be unattached. Yeah, I don't think you need to attach this. It needs to look attached, but it's going to be unattached. There's not that much of an angle on this. Maybe give it a little more. Let's turn off snapping. Like that. because I don't have actual proper guide images. Kind of you see how that's not flat there either. So that's good. I'm going to grab just going to grab this. Just bring it up. So now, now I can put these cuts in. Like that. I don't know what is going on with that. Oh, I've got caps turned on. That's what's doing it. Uh, now, I don't want to have those edges as extra polys. That should fix that by clamping that. Doesn't always work. There you go. That's good. See, by turning on Turning on uh, clamp points on axis and delete polygons on axis, we we don't get that little crappy polygon just there. Doesn't come down that far though. Hey Daichi. 
that's probably about it's afternoon so konbanwa genki desu ka Bring that down. Do it the lazy way. Or the non-lazy way. Okay, so obviously under subdivision that's going to be rounded. Just save this. See it's all rounded there, I've got to fix that. But I think it's starting to take shape. It might not be quite big enough. I mean, quite quite thick enough. It's hard to tell. Um, always pull that out a little bit and I'll be able to adjust that even later if I need to so once again I want to keep it as low poly as possible but it's got to be enough to hold the curvature for when I add the sharpening I definitely have to sharpen those do I want to do that yet? Um, maybe. If I wanted to attach it, yeah, but I did actually split this from the helmet. I thought about actually, you know, splitting this off and then uh, keeping it attached, but I don't, I don't think... I don't think it's actually um, attached to the helmet. I think it's a separate object. So I don't even have to think about that. But I did I did consider that at first. Um, let's just add some control cuts. Oh no, I might, I might do those in a minute actually. Let's um, look down here. Now there is a little inset in here and this actually um, is a little more extended on that one that one appears to be a little shallower Obviously, this is, that's someone else's model as well. I should look at the actual original. A bit hard to tell on that one. This is slightly different. This face is even all the way around. Maybe it sits out a little further. Yeah, okay, I think I understand.
I get that lined up. Yeah, good at Japanese. It's just a couple of words. <laughs> My wife and kids are good at Japanese. My wife is Japanese. Once again, remember I mentioned that I haven't got enough edge loops in there. So I'll put that detail in afterwards. Just checking the reference images. Hard to see from some of them. I don't think it does. Okay. So, um, mouse to extrude a little further. Come on. Oh, it's as far as it's going to go.
Would have been easier if I just extruded that all the way back before. Let's turn off snapping. Just check my reference again. So difficult to see. I need some nice 4K shots from the show. Okay, I'm going to presume that it's just a little inset there. It doesn't go all the way down to the bottom. These weird selection errors. I think my machine's had enough. What's going on there? Doing some odd stuff. I might just bring this other guy back in. Um, I think I want to bring that straight up like that. It's fairly rounded. So what I'll do is put another cut in there. Like that. UL turn off set axis, pull that forward. Maybe like that. Might even select this, push it back a bit. Maybe like that. Uh, let's see, I'll just join these together. 
right click current state no sorry uh, connect objects and delete select this edge and this one hold down shift to control MP stitch and sew holding down shift and stitch that together time is it 530 I'm gonna finish pretty soon so now that I've done that one um, you know I can put that under subdivision a few things that are not matching up because I've added a few extra cuts in there so I'll just get rid of those There's definitely some weirdness going on with my machine Got some non-manifold polygons, and I don't know why I've got non-manifold polygons in there. Optimizing it appears to have fixed it. Definitely looks better. Where's my reference? So that's, that appears open there. They're, they're all quite different. Sorry, I haven't got any music on. I'm listening to music through my headphones, but the free music's not that good. Just analyzing this image. This kind of appears like a some sort of button, so um, I might even just disconnect it for now. That way I can bring this one up. Have it hanging over slightly like that. That's working now.
think that's right. Just wondering, actually, before I add that in, I might need to collapse this down, subdivide it a little more before I add that detail. I probably needed an extra couple of loops. Um, I don't know, let's see. Um, just going to try something here. It's not going to work. Sometimes when you slide, it will take it in two different directions. Loop cut. And preserve curvature turned on. trying something here. I don't really want to collapse the subdivision down and make this too heavy. I don't think I should have to do that. I'm going to see if it maintains that shape. Could be okay. And I'm assuming this is symmetrical. Um, yeah. I'm going to say it's symmetrical. And I have moved that one.
think that's how it goes. Obviously, I've got to add a bunch of control cuts in here. I'm just doing a few tests. I think it's going to work. I'll think about control cutting that later. I'm going to wrap it up in a second. I was able to add that extra loop in there and not mess up the curvature too badly because I had enough loops. Okay. So that's where I'm up to. I think it's um I think that's okay. I'll give that some thought. Look at some more reference images. Um got a fair bit done today. Gotta turn that on. What else am I missing? Something else is turned off. Ah, there we go, that one there. Yeah, so that's where it's at. I think it's looking pretty good. It's a bit tricky when we don't have good guide images. But I think it's working. I'm happy with um, this section here. This is come out quite quite well. Obviously, I have to line everything up with that. But uh, I'm going to log off now because it's Saturday afternoon and I need to take the dog for a walk. So thanks for watching, everyone. Appreciate it. Um, I will put this online on the site and um, start to get this helmet wrapped up. There's not too much more to do. It's a little bit tricky, this piece. I'm just doing it properly. Um, but I'll see you in the next session.